Um, we're back. Yeah. Anyway, time for the sunken tunnel. Uh, uh, I didn't do anything wrong. You can't prove anything. Oh. I thought you were gonna ask about the bodies. Forget I said that. Force your way out like the other three. Oh, what good little children. They deserve being stuck in the sunken tunnel for what for what they're doing right here. Yes, I'm spoiling what happens five to... Th about two to three more scenes after this one. Actually, it's the next scene, but it's about a couple minutes. Or seconds. I lost my train of thought in the middle of that, so that's why it probably didn't sound so right. That's the sunken tunnel. The place that you will never leave. Ever. Ever again. You may try, but no. Just no. That's what you get for not get bringing a gate disc. This game isn't too hard to win most of the battles in the game because if you keep a lot of items in your inventory, you can basically win the game as long as you have enough healing items and MP items, because there are items that fully heal you no matter what, and they can heal all three. Meaning, you, unless they can kill you in one turn, you basically can't die. <laughs> Later, it's pretty fun to abuse that, though, once you have the money to buy lots of healing items. Watch out for the Mohawk in this dungeon, because Betamon will... Pretty much the only thing that can kill you for this screen. Once you get a bit deeper in, you find higher level machine types, but they're still rookies. I think the highest is level 16 in here. Other than the boss, which I think is... 20-ish or so? I'm not... I don't really recall. But... I... Probably won't get too far until I get some levels, because the battles are pretty long and drawn out until you can actually kill the things you're fighting, so don't be surprised if I don't get too far in this video, which I know I don't, because yeah, I made it. <laughs> the Spit attack is the, like, the in-training form attack, that and charge, which do very little damage, so... Uh, getting Digimon in in-training form, if you uh, have any Digimon in your party, in the back row, which is the Digimon that you aren't going to be using, they still get up, so that way you can train Digimon that are too weak to fight. Oh, and I haven't explained really how to get new Digimon. Every time you find a Digimon, if it's scannable, you'll get some scan data. If this, if you get enough scan data to 100% or higher, you can use uh, some computer in your trainer home and convert the scan data into the actual Digimon. If you have higher than 100%, then they'll get some bonus stats once you uh, make them into the Digimon. I'm not sure what the highest uh, scan data you get, but since it goes up to triple digits, I'm going to guess 999. Uh, but most of the time I never get a Digimon past 200 scan data if I actually want the Digimon. If I don't, then they can get up to 500 scan data, like if they're in training, they go up by 
10 scan data per fight, and if they're rookies, they go up 10 scan data per fight, so I'm getting 12... 20% of Betamon scan data from this fight. Hope everyone got my point in that long-winded explanation. I'm worse than Toriel Lady at the beginning of the game. So yeah, this is about it for most of the dungeon, since... The dungeon, you have to... Find a switch, turn off a valve, and then keep on going to find more valves to turn off. And then, after you've turned off all the valves, you have to find your way through a multi-path dungeon... To get to the boss that you, so you can save... Your... Friends? I don't see why they're friends, because they're... They catch... they caught a bad case of the uselessness. <laughs> Honestly, if... Uh, I had any friends that were like this, I would say, meh, and just... ditch them, because they really aren't worth the trouble. Because odds are they're just gonna end up in danger again. And... Well, how else will they learn to be independent if you keep on saving them every time? The correct answer is, they won't. They gotta learn to stand on their own two legs sometime. So yeah, I'm basically going around getting all the treasures before I start turning off vowels. Well, as far as I can go. I don't make much progress, but I do get some levels, so I guess that's good. These are some of the higher level rookies in the dungeon, and they only appear in usually certain areas. Usually the dungeon's mainly Betamon in that in-training Digimon. All machine types are weak versus water, so Hydro Water is very effective here, unless you're fighting the Betamon. I'm not really sure what he's weak against, because there's no real consistency in the element types, because sometimes they'll switch around. Like, one time it'll be weak versus Thunder, one time it'll be weak versus Metal, one time it'll be weak versus etc, etc. So it's really a guessing game most of the time, but usually most machines are weak versus water. There are a few exceptions. At least that I know of. I don't randomly go fighting Digimon trying to learn what their weakness is. That would be kind of weird. And especially if I didn't have the weakness, I wouldn't be able to ever know. Does anyone else hate the fact that Agumon has been in... has thousands of reincarnations? Like, there's normal Agumon, there's snow Agumon, there's black Agumon, there's toy Agumon, there's clear Agumon, which is toy Agumon. That's just... clear. See-through. There's... well, that other Agumon we just saw, but... I don't think all of them... I think, like, they ditched toy and clear Agumon. Once they th probably thought it was a bad idea. I don't think I've ever heard about them outside of Digimon World 2. I could be wrong, though. And it's only a matter of time till we get Vimon Agumon. Uh, you know it's you know it's going to come, just you don't know when. So yeah, didn't make much progress this video, like I've said, bef stated before, but uh, I'll get through it in the end, don't worry. <laughs>